Pierce. Long straight punches. Pierce off the right hand. You see Mouse under the left eye, Mouse under the right eye of Pierce. There's the separation. Abrasion on the right cheek of Zach Jusula. Swing and a miss. Here's throwing big Chris, trying to bomb to the inside. Absolutely, you can tell the contrasting styles. He's right there, that's all it takes is one punch in this. And down goes Zach Jusula. He is wobbly, those legs are wobbly. Taking the mandatory eight count from Bill Clancy. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. He better move, he better get on his bike right now. He doesn't want to take it. Uh, and that is the end of round number one. Wow, what a good round there. Totally contrasting styles, what we talked about. Fred Pierce coming with bombs, throwing hard punches all the time. Zach looking very slick, moving around, but when he gets hit once, he's going to go down just like that. Again, in our fighter meeting, Fred Pierce told me he's been training a lot with the heavyweight Kinsey Morrison, son of Tommy Morrison. I've seen Kinsey Morrison fight on three occasions in Kansas City. He can absolutely bomb, so Pierce said, I'm used to taking big shots from a powerful heavyweight. Yeah. Okay, here's a look at exactly what happened. Just a little left hand right there, right hand. Ooh. That's all it takes in this. You get squared up when you're throwing punches. It's important to keep one foot behind the other. When you get squared up and you get hit, you have nowhere to go besides backwards. So you look at Peterson. Oh, just got hit right in the button. A short right overhand. Boom. Put it down. very difficult when you start hitting the person and you want to sit there and sit down on the punches and hit them hard. You can't fall in love with standing in front of the other opponent or you're going to get hit back. Both fighters back up to scratch. Sporting touch of hands, round number two. Here's coming out strong. Good left oh, on the count wow. from Jusela. Big shots from Zach Jusela. Tucson's really trying to pick his shot smartly right now. Pierce Fred waving, waving him, him on. on. Pierce said he wanted a brawl. He's in a brawl right now. Pierce, all he's looking to do is land that one big shot. It was a good uppercut from Jusela. Pierce walking through it, firing back. Good turn from Zach Jusela. Now out to the dirty boxing, bombing the ribcage. Big right hand. Oh, and Pierce shots him. Down goes that Fred Pierce. Wrote and him. that is hurt. it. No count from Bill Clancy. Off the mat and victory in round number two for Zach Jusela. You know, Zach looked like he was trying to be real relaxed out there, pick his shots. Fred pulled him into a slug fest and he said, fine, we'll do it the way you want it. And he came out on top. Wow. What a lot of action right there. Interesting ebb and flow to this fight, Chris. I felt that Jusela was getting the better of round number one, but he was dropped in the closing seconds of the opening round by the you ready, sir? You ready, sir? Middle up! Round number one. Black trunks for Jared Warren, black and red trunks for Brian Maxwell. In the southpaw stance, Warren doubling up on the jab. Good left hand, and that rocked Maxwell. Another left hand lands from Jared Warren. And they're stuck right now where they said they don't want to be inside fighting each other. Quick separation from Wayne Spinola, right back to it. See the TikTok movement of Brian Maxwell. Trying to settle in, find his offense, flicks the jab, left to the body by Maxwell. And head movement and feints are very important in this world. Big right hand and down goes Warren, flashed with that right hand. This seemed like he kind of caught him off balance right there. I don't think Warren's hurt at all right now. Definitely a knockdown, though, as that punch landed clean. Mandatory eight count from Wayne Spinola. And you can just see the power in Brian Maxwell's hand. Every time he's landing the punch, it seems to hurt Joe Warren. To the clinch. One thing these guys got to work on, it is legal to hit wire in the clinch. They're not really utilizing that right now. It gets the full type if you're new to BKFC. Double unders, double overs. Big left hand there. And now he's trying to utilize it. Very good. Very good. Rule the slip by Spinola. I don't know, because he did have that half plum and he was hitting him with it, so I'd like to see the replay on that. The utilization of full dirty boxing, but again on a full clinch, that gets the break from the referee. Good oh. left hand, and that is a clean knockdown. For sure. Maxwell oh. now takes the count. The thing I'm noticing, Joe uh, Jared Warren seems to be quite a bit quicker than Brian Maxwell. 
Joe Warren will fight them both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another big left hand, and down for the second time goes Maxwell, and that... First into the center circle. Eagerly looking to get up to scratch. You guys have a very intense stare down going on the entire time. Knuckle up! Round right number one, an immediate start for Trujillo off the right hand. And both fighters swinging and winging. Left gets through from Trujillo. And down goes Moro. Took a knee the first time, and Glenn correctly starts the count. Wow. Four. What a start. Five. It was the left Six. hand that dropped Moro. Shades of Joe Six. Frazier Six. versus George <laughs> Foreman down on the knee and bouncing right back up. Eagle Savage is coming in and throwing hard punches the entire time. He's got to be careful doing that. He's landing the more. Oh, Huge wow. right hand. I think they Moro might down again, right and away. that is it. A lightning strike win for Gustavo Trujillo. Wow. What a right hand he landed. Put him down. He hit so hard at Rob Morrow. His head bounced off the canvas. Great stoppage right there by the referee because he was just going to get hurt even more. There was no way his head was in it after getting a shot like that. Head bouncing off the canvas really shows that you were not only hurt, but you were almost knocked out of that. Как вызывает, пользуясь именно тем правилом, что ты можешь позвать соперника вот четко на вот эти две линии. Ну что называется, к барьеру. Пожалуй, Талерс, прессинговать. Лейн, такое ощущение, пока по-прежнему подстраивается. Но, тем не менее, Алерс проводит сейчас свой самый длинный бой в рамках Бернакл FC все-таки. Потому что, ух ты, да, только стоило мне сказать, как тут же очень четким попаданием Алерс отправляет Джулиана Лейна в нокдаун. И смотрите, как ведет Лейна из стороны в сторону. А учитывая, что времени, в общем-то, еще достаточно в первом раунде, Лейн показывает, что будет продолжать. Но такое ощущение, что он от потрясения-то еще не отошел. Пару апперкотов очень жестких от, отворачивается и спиной назад. Довольно тяжело, того, чтобы кислород не выжечь. Но здесь пока нечего особо выдыхаться, потому что не так много... Ух ты, действий, хорошее попадание, сейчас пропустил, не видел Антонио Сильва, опирается на канаты, поднимается, но ведет его из стороны в сторону, Там четко в подбородок Гонзага нанес удар, ух ты, ух ты, здесь тяжело, но другой вопрос, что, ну Гонзага, конечно, попытается добить, но, как мы видим, тяжело ведет из стороны в сторону Антонио Сильва, набрасывается на него бразилец сейчас, Пробивает апперкот. Ух ты, держит удары, но не до конца падает Сильва. Еще более тяжелый нокдаун. И мне кажется, это уже финальная точка. Да, хватило. Все, остановка. Вот обещал Сильва выиграть досрочно, но не получилось. Там момент, буквально он на какую-то долю секунды потерял концентрацию. Мы сейчас...